So Songs of Six just got an update. Um, this is .64, I think is what it is. Uh, what it has done is added uh, a big overworld thing and where it says it's leaning into the 4X side of things, where we build our colony, our fantasy colony, in, in micro scale, sort of. Um, and then we can go out into the world and we can trade and peace and all that kind of stuff with the other factions in the world. Um, for those that haven't seen Songs of Six, it's been around for a little while. Uh, it's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, it started out as sort of like a like a dwarf fortress style thing, just big size rather than having, you know, 50 dwarves. You've got like 5,000 dwarves in your town uh, eventually. And um, well, the new update has come out and now it allows us to go out into the world. We can go to the world before, but now we've got like the, the, the diplomacy has changed and the factions have changed and a lot of the... Um, the dy dy dynamicness of the world has changed, as well as we got a new race, so we can be fish people in, in this one. Or, I think we're more like li lizard people in this one. I'm going to leave everything as, as standard difficulty, standard settings. And the last two times I played this game, I played a lot on my channel. The last two times I played, I uh, I kind of wanted to see, like, a big focus of the game is, you know, you start with like 10 people. But you can go to like 10,000 or whatever in your town. You have like these giant cities. And I've been trying to like, I was trying to like get to that. I think I hit 1,000. Um, but I have to like crank up the immigration and just, it's, it's, it's just like all fast speed trying to keep up with the people coming into town. Today, we're going to kind of focus a little bit more and we're going to focus on the Amevius, which are the lizard folk who are the water people. They're all about fish and water. Not only, they not, they will only tolerate the living near shorelines. Apart from that, they're easy going and tolerant, good fighters. Uh, they're good all around hardy fighters. They dislike other species, tolerant, different kind of tolerant. <laughs> also slow breeders, and they must live next to, next to water. So we're going to focus on being these guys, and we'll take a little slow and kind of start out with a uh, a smaller colony, and then we'll, we'll play with some of the new stuff in the game to see what we can do. Uh, I've unlocked one of the things, the crafter, which gives me a little boost to my workshop. Oh, sure, I'll do it. Sure. For my map, uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be not this map, but it's going to be like one of these, and I think we're going to do, um, we'll do like Europe. How about that? Yeah, at the end of my last game, I got a neighbor mad, and he came after me with a 30,000 army. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I was, I thought I was, you know, thinking myself pretty good. You know, I had, like, an army of, like, a, a thousand or two or whatever, and then 30,000 came stomping in. Uh, so here on the uh, on the world map, we can see there's different... This is all randomly generated. It's sort of... it's It takes sort of a Europe look, and then randomly generates. We can... We can change it again if we want and mix some things up or do something else random uh but in the world we're going to choose a spot these nine squares here of where we're going to begin so we want to begin down here where there is lots of coal and lots of gems i like coal and gems uh we we want to start where there's like a river though because we are sea people um and so we could go live um there's some rocks and things around there we could live next to the coast i was thinking river like oh like like a like like a venice we could do a Venice thing, maybe. Like right there. Uh, there's no mountains, there's forest, there's open land, there's a little bit of sweet water. Uh, there's not a lot of rocks though, and I'd like to have a couple rocks. Can we do maybe a little bit of that? Can't go there, but I can go there. There's no ocean there. Maybe, hey Gavin, how's it going? Thanks for the sub, Gavin. Um, so there's not any really, re like any, good plops of resources and you can see on these meters how much it kind of shows you what you've got a lot of no gems or clay or whatever uh trading is a big deal here and i think the update has even changed that even more where trading is a big big deal we want to make sure that we've got um we're bringing stuff in and, we, and we're selling other stuff you know um let's see we don't prefer the, the the cold climate a bit harder to please them up there well i think i think we want to go there's, oh there's I guess there's some coal over there um, they do not prefer the climate temperate. What do they want? They want it warm? Can I go, like, there? It's isolated. Initially, you'll be left alone by other factions, but there will be a little opportunity for trade. I don't want to be left alone. Um, let's do, um... You can also, you can actually, like, draw your own stuff in. Let me try, um... We'll try one more, one more look and see if it changes anything here for us. It's temperate, so we're going to have to be kind of like we got over here. Don't like temperate. Harder to please them. They like it warm. It's isolated. Temperate. 
where it's we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be down where it's warm. Temperate. Yeah, we're gonna I think we're gonna have to be over here. We don't have to, I suppose. Um ample mineral deposits will stir envy and greed from bandits and rival states. Initial game will be more difficult. But it's also isolated. Yeah, you know? Um there it is. What's with Steam? What's with uh, my bot being so slow? Thanks, thanks, Mr. Bot, and thanks again, Gavin. Um, we could try this. You know, we get a little bit of coal. We can do some coal trading. Uh, we do have forests, and there's some mountains around. There's a river nearby. We can do. We can. Most of our living will be next to the river. Um, I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm content. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. We'll be Greek. And as you put your tribes in, then the world grows out with cities and other factions, and they kind of come in after you select where you want to be. Um, and we'll take a look at the world. All right, so here I am. Sliven is the name of my uh, of my people. Right, there's this little square here, and all the other folks out here. Like, there's a big, big purple clan over this way. Uh, so we got a little blue grouping like right in here. We can click on them. We can see this. Here's a uh, Rovexti, and uh, I think we can click on it. These are free lands up there. You know, I might need. I need to go in the game before I actually do anything else with it. But they own Rovexti and whatever else, and um. We'll uh we'll we'll see what our, our our map looks like first. Europe but wiggly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so you uh yeah, I took the Europe one, but it, there's a few different it like it's procedurally generated, that's the 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 start of the procedural generation, and then it goes from there. Um alright, so here's our map. Uh we're gonna live all along this rivery spot down here. Our time will be down here somewhere. There's lots of resources out there in the world. We've got plenty of coal. We can go do some mining at some point. Actually, there's a lot of stuff. We could actually build like a mountain town if we wanted to. Um, but we're up that way. I think we're going to stay. Yeah, we'll stay over here somewhere. Lots of stuff right in here. I think we're going to pop ourselves down like right over here. We can have we have fishermen and farms and all that kind of stuff along the coast here. There is some animals down that way. Let's go and uh, park it like I think I think right here is perfect. Right. Uh, uh, there. All right. So in town, we have old Kiss and Ryle and Zillis and Cotes. Uh, these guys are all uh, lizard people. And um, <clears throat> we're going to try to just focus on just having lizard people. May, we may eventually bring other folks in. But for now, just lizard folk. And we're going to see what we can get started with in our town. We'll look at the world map here in just a second. I'll show you what I was going to show you. A minute ago. So first off, we're gonna road up. Let's do something like let's make it you know, I'm gonna make something pretty this time. We'll do some roads over there. Uh we'll go ahead and tell them to get some trees chopped. I'll chop some of them trees over there. Any rocks nearby? Yeah, there's a bunch of rocks nearby. So we'll pick up some rocks as well. And yeah, there's a few rocks around anyway. What are these? Oh maybe it might be snow. Yeah, it's snow. Okay, so let's go look at the world and I'll show you what I was talking about. So we're here in Sliven, Sliven, um, and yeah, yeah, I, there is Princess Bride quotes in, in the waiting screen there. Uh, so these, as you can see, the blue guys are right there. They own uh, Kuhn, and we can click on it, and we got Kuhn is how they feel about us. We can check that out. So there he is. Uh, it is uh, ruled by Jaliwar the Seventh. Jaliwar the Seventh, the Defender of Honor, the Drinker, and there's his his uh, kids. I guess is who it is. Um, we can go to trade. We can trade with him. We can do diplomacy. We can war with them. He's got an army of 500. Um, and, we, and this is all new stuff. All this sort of like diplomacy stuff is, is new. We can talk with all our neighbors. And they're all sort of all the places. We've got a whole bunch of folks. These purple folks are giants. Um, and there's a bunch of free lands sort of here. It's like most of northern Italy is all, is all free lands that we can go and take and conquer and make our own, make multiple towns. We can build armies up and go charging out. But... Um, not yet, because there's only ten of us. Mm -mm. Yeah, we'll conquer those purple people. That's what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll get some beginning stuff done here. So we got, this is our, our throne room, and all of our junk is thrown in here, like mushrooms and wood and livestock and rations and clothes. Uh, I, I get the comments several times on, like, YouTube videos of this game that, um, at first glance, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. It's a, it's a little weird, um... Because the sort of top-down pixel art look is a little off, 
uh, at first, but it does it does click at some point, and it, and it all kind of makes sense. But it does take a minute to kind of get used to what you're looking at. Um, I'm going to throw my well down there. So when it gets hot, they can dunk yourselves in the well, and they'll be happy about that. We'll get a hearth up there as well, so if it gets cold, they can dunk themselves in the fires to keep to keep warm, which might be important for these guys because they like warmth. Each race is a little different, and they all like different things. They like their buildings built differently and all kinds of stuff. Um, there's the hearth right there. So we'll set this guy up. Like, um, yeah, like right, like right there. Perfect. Uh, how about a little bit more road? Because we're making like a courtyard. There we go. Okay, get to work. We'll give him some, some houses in a second. Uh, it's not part, I don't know if, if the part that seems summer sale, I have no idea. Um, but the demo is just one step, one release behind this one. It's the full game. It's just a, a release behind. And by the way, this is all done by one person. Um, I played the first, like, not the place. I played this early on, several years ago, and I remember reading, I think I've said this before in the previous videos, but I remember reading, like, the notes and the dev logs and the plans for this. And it seems like a bit, it seems like a lot. It seems like a lot from what, what it was at the beginning and to what he, what he was planning on doing with it. And, um... Well, he's he's definitely getting there, and, and it's really impressive to see where this game has gone over the past few years, and at what well, at the rate it's 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 uh, developed. Like um, I don't think he sleeps. I think I think the dev is a vampire, and he just stays up all night, drinks a little bit of blood, develops songs of six. <clears throat> I don't know how long he's been in development. I think the first videos I did of it. Um, Gotta be four or five years ago. It's been a while. Vampires. All right, Clayman. <laughs> you get that vampire sleep during the day nonsense out of here. <laughs> I'm trying to make a point. Uh, we can make houses and we can make chambers. Um, chambers need things like furniture and cloth and gems, but we're going to make them just some houses and we'll build a few of these for our people. We can make apartments, we can make long houses, we can make houses. These are all kind of pre-made things. And as we supply them with uh with goods, they will um stock they'll stock them with with uh with junk or belongings, whatever they want to call it. So, I think we can go like like we can do like that and then bump one up. I don't know how many people fit in these. Um oh, three it says right there. Three residents. So, should we do like a big old apartment complex? Let's do it. We're going to have a little gap there, behind there, but that's okay. Share that wall. We'll put, like, grass or something back there. So that gives us 3, 6, 9, 12. We got, 11, we got 10 people in town. So that's that's enough houses for our initial batch of folks. Seems like it's single housing. Um, and we can see all the stuff on... Let's take a look at it, actually. Uh, right click. Um, oh, there's some other things about us. Uh, we'll see. So, uh, anything we need to keep an eye on here, we can we can scroll through and, and see what they're missing, what they're what they're lacking, and all that kind of stuff. Um, they want meals, you know. They want they want to bathe themselves. They would like tables, you know. They want everything. Uh, apparently, they want some sweet water. Proximity to sweet water. Some species are naturally drawn to water. The proximity increases output of farms and orchards. Okay, hopefully that river is sweet water. Whether they want religion or not, even like the so this, I think I said this, the shape of the buildings, whether they want square buildings or circle buildings. I normally build, uh, try to build a town that, that sort of um, appeases all the races, which isn't really possible well. Um, we're going to see if we're going to go all in on the, on the lizards and see if we can do something with this. Um, I will give them access, though. They can have, they may have stone, um, and I will give them wood, and I'll give them fish. So they can just have that stuff, and they go stock their houses with it. Uh, I'll give them furniture when we start getting there. But as they build the towns here, as they build the houses here, you can see they're getting it getting it done there, and chopping the trees and clear it out. And you can see kind of, you can kind of see like you can't see the doors really. You can see the doors right there, kind of an opening. And you'll see in here there's a door there. So it, it, again, it'll it looks weird at at first, but eventually it'll it'll click. Yeah, they want I don't know what they they want sweet water, furnitures, furniture. Um, oh, Gavin! Thank you very much, Gavin. Thanks, Gavin. Two hundred twenty, Gavin. Thank you very much. 
Can you be xenophobic? Yes. Uh, some of the races are xenophobic. I think... I think these guys are. Ancient race. Um, some of them... Some of them are... I mean, we can be... We, uh, we don't have to allow anyone in. We can set it up. Right now, I am manually setting it, allowing if any immigrants want to come in. But we can also set it up to be selected and all that. And I heard a... Did I hear a dad joke? A dad joke. All right, um, so uh, there's this uh, this papa mole and um, a mama mole and a baby mole, and they live out in the country near this farmhouse. Papa mole pops, pops his head out of the hole and says, Mmm, I smell sausage. And then mama mole pops her head out and says, Oh, I smell pancakes. Well, there wasn't any holes left. Baby mole tries to stick his head outside, but because of the other two moles, he says, The only thing I smell is molasses. I'll just let that one sink in for a minute and leave it there. <clears throat> so a couple of important things we got. We got the the well and we have the hearth. I'm gonna speed it up a bit so they get some things done. We do to make sure we want to get we wanna make sure we get a warehouse so we can stock all this wood, because it's all going into our, our throne room, but there's not much space for it. So we need um uh, um a place for to store food and a place to store whatever and oh what's your name who who oh did he uh ryle has been cut off from the tribe and he's sad about it uh let me let me put a door in here um i forget how to do this um uh, place more i want to remove i want to delete jobs i'm going to adjust how do i adjust it I have control to build, to build another one. I don't want to build another one. I want to adjust this one. I think I do it with... Um... Remind me here. Yeah, he's stuck. Stuck right there. I know, I know, I see him. <laughs> how do I fix it? I forget how to change that. How to change the wall. Um... That's not it. Can I come in here and say... Yeah, how do I select the houses, though? I can... I can delete a job. It's going to delete everything, though. That didn't work. Um, can we just remove that wall? You think it'll still work? And then we'll put down a um, another house here. Uh, housing. I just sneak that in there. But we want to make sure that we we can put it there. We gotta make sure we put a door. Oh, I can't put doors in. We're making it out of wood. Oh, that's what we need to do. Uh, that. Um, okay. That's... I, I'll, I'll get this. I'll get this. I'll get it figured out. Um, remove that little spot there. Doesn't matter if it really is a door or not. And then we're going to place a house with no walls right there. I mean, they did something similar when they when building the Great Wall of China. <laughs> you could just walk that way. Not my fault. He, oh, there, oh, is he figuring it out? Come on, Ryle, you can do it. You can do it, buddy. Ryle's my favorite. Did he make it? Oh, he's thinking about it. There he goes. All right, good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. You did it. See, he's not dumb. People like to call uh, the uh, these lizard folks dumb. No, no, we're smart. Uh, we need to worry about food. And there's a big tech tree of stuff we can get later on. Um, oh, I probably should go ahead and set up some things to be picked. Uh, let me go and harvest some wild edibles. We'll grab, uh, we'll grab some of these fellas and some mushrooms and some of that stuff. We won't grab a bunch of it. We'll grab just, just enough to get us 
and get us around here. And then we'll do, some, we'll do a little bit of farming, but I think we're, we're going to mostly do a lot of fishing, because we're right there by the water. We might as well do lots of fishing. Um, if I remember where the fishing is at. Agriculture, aquaculture, fishery. I think we're going to go ahead and just set them up. There's looks like there's some good fishing going on over here. The fishing hole, they call this. I think we'll just sort of um, fill that all in. We'll take all the uh, the good fishing spots. Real good stuff over here. We'll have a little patch uh, like right here. We can throw in some storage because they gotta toss their fish somewhere when they catch them. So I, I need some furniture for that, so I we'll have to figure that out. Auxiliary, auxiliaries, right, right. So our efficiency is only fifty percent until we get more of that. So. Um, it's going to like right there. Storage there and some auxiliaries. Okay, 100%. There we go. Okay. Build that. That'll give us some fish. We'll do a lot of farmland. I always underestimate how much farm we need or how much food we need for this one because um, it's very important. <laughs> That's right, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> we got over here. What are we waiting for? Waiting for some more stone. Yeah, um... Like, what is that over there? Oh, it's the edibles. There's a bunch of stone there we're waiting for. There's not enough of us here. Let's see if we can get some more in here. We've got one guy who wants to come in. Come on in, buddy. We can use you. We need you in here to get some things done. These houses are... Um... Looks like they're, they're done. They just need to, uh start moving some things in. They've got that one. There they go. That one's done. Uh, Quartok One-Eye is where is living there right now. He's got a little bit of stone in there. He's got a little bit of wood in there. He's somewhat isolated. I guess these guys really like to be isolated. So let's keep an eye on that. Small farm with a ring of orchards around it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I don't remember which, which one that was either, but it's very important. Put your trees around your, around your, uh, your farms. I think I do want to go ahead and put... I don't know, should we go ahead and do a, a little bit of a farm? What do we like? What do we like? We are, we don't like mushrooms. We don't like herbs. We don't like grain. We don't like fruit. We don't like cotton. <laughs> well, we don't grow them very well. Um, all right. All right. Um, I think we're going to do, I think fish is going to be our, our, our thing. So let's just do uh, some, there's some veggies over there we had. Let's just grab some veggies. I'm just going to throw them in like this just to get a little bit of a farm going. I know we're going to need a lot more than that, but just for now, because it's going to need 13 veggies. We can go pick them up over there and plant them over here. Um, we'll just get a little bit of a farm. Hopefully, uh, they'll grow. Got those, and we'll clear out some more of these veggies over here. Oop, over here. Okay. Um, let me read that again. What does it say about our food? So those are, so yeah, fish is preferred by us, and eggs are preferred by us. We do prefer, f we do prefer fruit. Okay. You can see what we like. So we don't care so much about veggies. Maybe we could we could change it into a fruit place. Uh, we'll do a little veggie one, then we'll then we'll update it. I nearly need more stone. Okay. They can get across here. They're fine. Let's pick up the pace here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on I'll let that one guy in. I'm gonna let um we won't go overboard, but we'll let, like, up to 25, we'll let in at first. I'll keep an eye on it. we got three homeless people right now, so we'll make sure we keep we deal with that. It should be fixed here in a second, because we had enough for 12, right? So, yeah, and we can we can upgrade them. Um, I don't remember what all we, how, how we can do that, but we can upgrade our, our houses and move them around and all that kind of stuff. 
All these things can be upgraded. There's our uh, our well done. Hey, looking pretty nice. It's got some sweet water in it. Well, I love sweet water. Okay, now, um, just for the sake of things looking nice, I know there's a lot of things we could be doing, but we're going to go ahead and road. Um, we'll do a run there, and there, and there. And then we'll have a road that goes like over this way. And we'll go up this way. I suppose we can go down here. And you can't see where folks are walking. Yeah, we took a look at the nearby kingdoms. We've got we got one big big fella. These folks over here. Real big fella. Um I don't know actually know who who is running this place. This is um tolerant ruler who will appreciate and encourage other races. His name is Paratus. Uh is he the same as me? I think he is. I think that's who we are. So as long as um yeah yeah we're all good good. And there's people that live in his in his place. He's mostly yeah, he's mostly us, mostly Amevius. So good, the big scary guy to the south is our friend. Or is is like us, I should say. He already has a bunch of armies. Okay, picking all those things up. Uh let's go ahead and get a warehouse built. That is very important. Uh let's see, we want under infrastructure and where is it? There it is. Let me set it up like right over here, and we'll have like trying to decide. We'll need like a we'll need like a good granary as well. So we might plop in a granary somewhere around here, or maybe we just build a warehouse and we'll make it a granary eventually. I want a big fella. Um, I don't remember what my people like. Whether they like it square or not. Uh, depending on your species, subjects prefer different shapes. I don't remember what we like, though. Anyone remember what we like? Let's do some... Keep wooden walls up. We're going to do, like, a little... Um, we want to go and... And shrink a little bit and have... Like a central wall so everything can, can meet up there. And I do want walls built around it. And let's set up some doorways. So I have like um, double doors there, double doors out there, and double doors out here. And we'll throw in these crates. So this is what's going to hold all of our junk. that and then we can do I guess we got a we got a spot right there so we can't fit anything in there anything else in there um yeah that'll work we could we could like cram a couple more in here but I'm I think I've go to that okay hold 16,000 things so we'll do it we're just gonna have it hold everything right now and then we'll maybe turn that into a granary since it's right here next to the water again our whole town might be next to the water though so it might not matter um, I do want to make sure we grab... We'll get some more trees. Make sure we clear all this stuff out. Plenty of trees brought in. Uh, we got rocks that need brought in. Clear those out. And we'll set up what goes in there in a minute. So we have 17 people in here. We've brought a few more folks in. We don't have housing for all of them. we got extra spots. Oh, yeah, see, they're bringing things in. So we got a little bit of wood, a little bit of... Right, you can see their houses are are upgrading. Sort of. They're putting... They got, like, a, a little toilet there. <laughs> I don't know what toilet. Whatever it is. Uh, let's get some more housing. So I would like... Uh, chambers were fancy, so we'll do houses. And those were... Uh, those were... Those were long houses. A house will hold two residents, and a long house holds three. Or four. Four in that one spot. I guess we could just do like like a big row of them. Doesn't quite match. Um, let's do the same thing. Let's just kind of make it make it match. Make a 
looks like that. And then we have a little gap there. And hopefully no one gets stuck in there this time. Maybe we let them build it before we, we put this in here. Now, what are the chances someone gets stuck a second time? Slim. Slim. Okay, we'll make ourselves a road here, and we'll connect these up so that it, look right, that it looks right uh, for these guys. Remember, we're going, we're going pretty this time. However, if we have a bunch of coal, we're going to make sure we defend against that. Let's go like uh, that. Okay, that'll double our housing space. Pawns build their own stuff independent of your commands, furniture, etc. Yeah, well, so you can... I, whenever I come in here, I can allow them to have whatever whatever I want them to have um, access. And so they have access to stone, so they'll go, they'll just go grab stone and put it in their house. Um, I can tell them to not have stone, and so then they won't take it, and they, and so I can use it. Uh, but this way, they'll go and they'll just stash it in their house and hoard it in their house. We can build furniture. We need to get a carpenter pretty soon, so we can turn all this wood in the in the furniture because they're gonna want that. Um, Road should be three wide with a channel of water down the middle. Oh, you know what, Skull? That is a fantastic idea. Oh, man. That's such a good idea. Okay, we'll add the water a little later. But yeah, three wide roads. For sure. They won't all be three wide. <laughs> Most, Some of them will be three wide. <laughs> We're going to have like a channel going around. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, okay, looks like the uh, the veggies are getting planted. Uh, they're gonna love veggies. They don't know it yet. Uh, I would like to go ahead and get. Um, I'm going to another fishery. I think we need to. I think fish is what we need to go all in on, and so we're gonna all in on fish. Um, this looks like a good good fish spot over here. So we're gonna go and take that. We'll just grab all of it. You know, my well, we'll put like storage in the middle here. This is gonna be a big fishy land. So we might as well just take all of it. Uh, the internal strife, the realm of Paradis have dis has divided. Wait a minute. But those are the guys that are my buddies. Those are the guys we are just saying, hey, they're like us. Oh, we're not like that. Okay, we'll do this. is big fish land. We're going to have a little bit of storage in here. we got we got to get furniture. I seem to have a little bit of a, a hole there. Sure. Oh, oh, max them out. Okay, auxiliaries. We need to get this up just like that. 81. 96. Good enough. Well, we, this is a big one. We should probably have it as good as it gets. There we go. Okay. Build it. Uh, we need furniture. Let's go ahead and work on... Looks like that is almost done. I'm going to take a look at this uh, this thing. So, the purple folks, these guys? Yeah. Where do they... Where do they break off? Because it looks like they'll still look pretty big. They still look just as big as they were before. He's still there. He's a great humanist. Sure he is. Hmm. I have a tiny kingdom over here. I've got a giant one over this way as well. Oh, there's some, some of these are huge. Humans. Ooh, another tiny guy right there. Is that a, is that a, that's a free land. Free land and... Yeah, those guys are two separate folks. Huh. Alright. People are trapped. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Oh, now it's Gannick. Oh, Gannick. Why do you gotta be dumb? Okay. He'll get out of there eventually. Winter time, they'll probably use that hearth here if they need to. Yeah, they'll come sit over here and warm up. Um, veggies looking good. We'll have fish down here, I suppose. The... Looks like the warehouse is done. Alright, warehouse. I want you to hold... Um, I can go and we can just do everything just for now, just so they have a spot for it. But then we and then we'll then we'll 
specialize it. We've got 64 crates in here, so we can put whatever we want in here. I'm going to do one crate of each good. Just to make sure we have a spot for everything. And then... And then we can specialize a little more. Like, we don't have any jewelry or anything just yet. But we'll get... Well, eventually we'll get there. Looks like some rations are going in. Uh, some apples are going in. We got all that junk coming from the throne room getting tossed in there now. Um, I think I will. We got how many left? We got... Uh, well, it's only half of the, of the place. So we'll put in... Um, a few more fish, because we're making that. We'll put in an extra veggie and a couple of, of wood. There we go. Just make sure we got room for stuff. And we'll adjust as, as needed. Okay, we got 17 people in town. We have houses for everyone. And the road is looking snowy. Good, good lizards. Now we've got some fishery construction to do here. Um, they can get over here. They're working on this this thing first. I think they can, I don't think they do. They need to. I don't think they need to, Maybe they do need to remove water to get to it. I think they did, but maybe they do. Like a little uh, island here or a bridge. Um. I'm going to put it at. Let's go. Here. Do some little, little bit of adjusting. Did I remove everything? Ah! Undo! Wait. Fine. Um. Can remove that water. I want to just shorten you a little bit. Figure that out in a second. All right. Screwed up my fish land. Okay, go over there. And. Um, yeah, we'll take this little spot over here, too. Okay. Eighty-eight. Let's go a little bigger. There we go. Fizz, how's it going? Um, we got a new race, playing lizard folk, it's, uh, water people. Or we just like people. We just like water. Um, and then we got a lot of overworld out, out of out of the kingdom new stuff. So we had twenty people in in here. Well, he's going uh, trending towards eighty-one. How's everyone looking? Like, what 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 do you need? You want some clothes? You'll get it in a minute. Um, your food preference isn't isn't being met. There's no starvation at the moment. People have housing. They don't have a lot of furniture. Um, we can do that real quick. Furniture is, is an easy fix. Um, also, when I, I forgot about an important one is we want to make sure that we have... Uh, where is he? The guy the, the guy that shouts at things. Um, must be civics. Oh, we need a bat. We'll need a bathroom, a speaker. We want a speaker. And I'm going to set him down, like, right there. So he's going to improve the mood of everyone by, by shouting at him. Um, and then we need a lavatory. People can go to the bathroom. Because they've been holding it for about three years now. And that's, I don't think that's good for you. Praise. 
You don't think I could squeeze a bathroom in there? That would have been a, probably a good spot for a bathroom. I'll just throw it up here. Uh, something like... That straight. It goes to the door. Yeah, right there. It's a big, big bathroom. Latrines. We want a latrine on both sides, and then we got a basin all over. We'll do a bunch of latrines, and we'll wash your, wash your dang hands. Okay. And doors. Put some side doors there, and we'll put some on the other side, too, just in case they can slide out the back if they need to. All right, build those, those bathrooms. Shouting will continue until morale improves. Yes, yes. Okay, more roads. Uh, let's road around this fella. And then we're down here. The road's gonna go like that, but I'm gonna build it quite right. Now we can connect everything up here and, and reach where we need to go. And we've made it to the uh, to the island. Uh, we made, we built a bridge, which is my favorite thing. So it doesn't get any better. It's about as good as it gets. Okay. Uh, what else? Do we we want to get um, holler. We're gonna need to get a what's the the repair fella? Um, oh, an eatery. That's gonna be probably pretty important. Yeah, people like to eat. So that will go... We can put just like a small one in. Everything here is kind of giant. It'll grow later on, but we'll just have one that kind of like tucks in over here. We'll put our doors... <gasps> I have an idea. What if we do... Oh, oh. That's something like that and we have like a little a little uh you know what i mean like a corner corner store kind of thing doorway there excellent um yeah eatery's more of a is like a, a granary kind of thing isn't it well i suppose it works if we can fit something in here a little better Fit you in there. Figure out how to fit these things in here. Okay. So they, uh, oh, they need clay for that. Hmm. Uh, let me scrap that room for a minute until we figure out, until we get some clay dug up for that. Janitor's the one I was thinking of. Um, we need him to go around and make sure things are clean. Well, he could go in there, I suppose, until we figure out what we want to do with the eatery. We need a bigger one anyway, or a place to eat. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's plenty of clay around we'll, that we'll find. But janitor's important, so we'll do the janitor thing here. We'll do the diagonal thing too, just because it's cool. We go. He needs workstations. And there and there. There. Some utilities. I think they can walk through that. Eighty percent. Can we get a little better? Eighty-seven, ninety-three. Sure. What's wrong? Doorway's blocked.
There we go. We're gonna have 10 janitors in here. Plenty. Plenty. We've only got 22 people in town, so no problem. Tons of wood. We got a little bit of fruit around, a little bit of veggies, and zero fish because this isn't made yet because it needs... Oh, furniture! Okay, uh, let's go and get a carpenter made. And he can go live over here. Yeah, he can live up here. Make me a little too big, it is. That's probably alright. Okay, I need a little bit of storage in here for the I dump the wood. Storage over there. We need workbenches for the janitors to do the thing. Auxiliary for efficiency. Which I think are rugs, if I remember right. Oh, and doors are going to be the corner. Okay. I think it's like isolation, so I think they actually like it to not... If that's correct, if I'm remembering this right, which may not be true. Um, I think they like... Um, did I just cancel that without actually making it? I did. did it, dang it. <laughs> uh, they, li if they like isolation. It means they don't like that many doors. At least we go easy on the doors. If I remember... Remember this correctly. Don't right click on things. Remember that. We. Okay, with that. It's a little bit boxy. Isolation's a hundred percent. Yeah, and they like they like isolations because that's that's what we lizard folk like. Isolation means noise gets out at less than 100%, so peeps nearby are affected. Okay. Check. Constructs. All right. Uh, let's build a road. Connect that up. And that'll give us furniture, which we can then make the fishing hut. Then we'll be in better shape. We're a little low on food. Let's go ahead and make sure that we grab some food. There's a bunch of it out here. Uh, harvest. Not so much in the winter. A little bit there. I'm oh, sure we'll grab the cotton and bring it in. It's spring now, so we should get something over here pretty soon. Where's the rest of it? Uh, there's mushrooms over there. There's more veggies over that way. Do you have any fruit? Just that spot there? Yeah. Ripens in late summer. We should get. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a uh, a, a farm, a um, fruit farm. And oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it right in here. We can fish around it, and we'll fruit elsewhere. We'll build a bunch of fruit trees. We got fruits around, so we'll make that. And we probably need to get some, I think it said they like meat, so we'll get a, a meat farm also going. Something like that. Okay. Looks like they're already making their own over here. Okay. And then, uh, for the kind of food, where was it? We like, what is that? Eggs, fish, and fruit. Okay. 
Uh, I don't remember which animal lays eggs. Is it you? Larva prefer dark caves, feeds on fungus, sweeps from the stone floor. No. Um, you are some oxes. Uh, unks. You look up birds. Are you birds? Uh, flightless bird. Inspire works of art. Uh, price for its decorative feathers. And it lays eggs. Rumored to lay eggs of solid gold, but it's never been proven. Huh. I don't know if that's the one we want, though. Do you lay eggs? It's a turtle. Eggs are harvested and collected for purposes. Um, yeah. Turtles. So we want a uh, Globdian farm. I feel awkward being a lizard man growing... Uh, Farming turtles. I don't know. Maybe it's okay. So, I think we need a big one of these. I think we're going to go, like, like jumbo-sized. Like, like, real jumbo-sized. Like, jumbo-sized. Gate can be there. Which is, which is right in the middle. <laughs> what about? Uh, um, I don't think it's going to be possible to be in the middle. No. It's fine. Um, construct. I'm going to grab those turtles and toss them in there and breed them. And then we're going to have so many eggs. Lines right up. Uh, maybe we should move that where it'd be lined up there. We'll just go like this, and then we'll head down like that. And we'll have a little branch here that comes off for that fella. Would have been a good place for a roundabout, you know? Actually. Slow this down just a little bit. that and then I'm not gonna keep this this is gonna be a very very nice looking roundabout but it's gonna be a roundabout okay actually you know what there's a button for this I forgot there's a button for this uh, it doesn't, it's like you can make you can make circles but then you have to like oh you know what oh you know what what if we just do this let's try this that's not gonna that's not it uh. <laughs> That wasn't it. <laughs> hmm. I remove these these roads. Roads. Okay, so that 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 was that's brush, not. Okay. Let's remove those. Okay, now we can put in. Ellipse. I don't know if it's going to do us any good, though. Um, maybe, because we can remove the... Ins oh, we got it! Okay, so, we, so um, I place it. I want, um... Okay, not, not removed. Okay, so it needs to be a little bigger than that. Um, let's see if we can get a good... That's not a circle. Okay. Okay. And then we remove the inside. This is very important. It's a fat road. One more. Praise on Dinti. Yes, Dinti is happy with this. 
Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, it's kind of there. Uh, we're going to go back to that one and then turn that one back. I don't know how to turn that one back off without going out and back in. But we're there. It's, it's sort of there. It's got little bumps in it. Bumps are great. It's not the straightest thing because it's a little crooked. Um, we can fix that. By doing like, um, oh, I don't know. What the blinkies are for. Blinkies no good. Okay. Branch off from that one. I'm going to remove this one a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll connect up at a different place. Close enough for government work. Yeah. Those are the blinkies. I hate the blinkies. Is that that thing? Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. That was worth it. I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay. It's like fruit farms getting made. Fish are still waiting to get fished. We're waiting for Carpenter to do his job. He's getting built as we speak. Now, let's chop some trees. We got 900 wood. Let's get some more of that. We have no stone. Let's get some more of that. We're going to have to get some trade set up pretty soon. Uh, which means we're going to have to go and grab... We're going to have to go grab some uh, some coal, probably, so we can do some trading. <laughs> the roadmaker's drunk again. <laughs> I know. What do we put in there? We can put. You can make statues and put big statues in there. People like that. We can put our graveyard in there. Um, mass grave can go in there. We can put in a. Um, oh, you know what? We should go in there. Is is religion? Um, the temples. Where do we get the temples. We we can eventually. We got to start working on getting. Uh, we need to get a lab. Do we get some knowledge? And start getting some tech done. We'll just stash that kind of up here. We're not going to make a giant one. We'll make a, a not giant one. Um, it's going to be kind of weird looking because it's, because it's, um, um, I don't know why. Um, it's like a little butt. We don't want that. Um, let's give it some wings. There we go. Now it's still a butt. Um, Okay, we'll do like, um, and then that. <laughs> uh, let's just pick a new design. Let's let's do a um, a hollow rectangle. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah. Like that? Is that how you have this? There we go. Sorry, I'm fiddling with all this stuff. Um, here we go. That's a hall of knowledge if I ever saw one. Okay. It'd be a real pain trying to get the stuff to fit in here now. Uh, ooh, it's stormy time. I can go any smaller than that. So it's going to be kind of a strange hall of knowledge. Um, I 
Um, you know what? Oh, that would be perfect. If it just it just needs that. Okay, let's try this. Let's remove those. Um, I'm gonna build up this little part right here a little bit more. There we go. So it's it's sturdy enough to fit the center, so we wouldn't have to worry about I was worried about um whatever. Today would be a day without sun. Our priests are busy trying to understand this. They're like the gods are just over here just filling with these dang buildings and not doing anything else. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. And then tuck it in there. Don't do that one. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. No, this is the game music. All right. Now let's speed along. We've got 25 uh, folks in here. We've got one who wants to join us. We're we ready to go up. We have no one's homeless. So we can go to another... F we can go to 50. We'll allow that one in. I don't know how much housing we have. Our loyalty is going up. People are happy. Uh, the guys on the soapbox over here are shouting. How much was this? Uh, 9, 12. So this is 24 houses. Apparently I've got a little bit more there. For some for something. Furniture's getting put into that. And over here. So the carpenter is doing his job. Good. Uh, I would like to tell the janitor to do less than... Let's do like... I think I'm just going to do one guy working in the janitor shop. For now. And... Let's get another housing row. Can I collect... I'll see if I can grab all this stuff. A slaver's coming by. He wants to sell me some things. No thanks. No thanks. Um, I believe I can... I can click. Well, it just does that, doesn't it? Um, we'll do another group of apartments here. I'm going to do the same thing as what I've got on this side. What's a house look like? It gives residents 75% more, more residents. Oh, oh, actually, apartment is the best privacy. Houses hold more people. And long horse, long horse, long house is just a big group of folks in one spot. Four. That'll hold 20. Um, what we could do is, let's just do a house. Not quite straight. Um, let's set it in here like... So this will hold 10 people. Like that. There's 20 people can fit in there. We'll pick those, pick those grain up. Um, and then we can put our um, our road through here. And we can add in like um, you know, a little bathroom spot or whatever. Nearby. Do we have too much? We have, we have a bunch of wood. We got extra boxes. I'm going to add in a, a bit more box space for our wood. And we've got to get that fish made, the fish done. we got a real fish problem around here. We need 70, 70 um, furniture for that. We need our, our, this guy needs to work faster. Um, how do I upgrade you? Oh, unlock. We need more tech for that. Okay. Uh, when this gets built, we'll have to turn that down. So I've got these, these buildings are a little bit bigger than probably they need to be. Because I don't have enough people in the town really to, to manage them. Especially the farms and all that. Yeah, we're finally getting some furniture in here. Um, it's going to be cleared out. We're getting the fences all built up. We got a lot of wood needed for that, which we got tons of wood. Um, stone is ready to be picked. There's actually a good supply of stone down here. Actually, we may not be having any problems with stone for a while. Plus, we got all these mountains. We have tons of stone. Never mind. Uh, for trade goods, though, the only thing we really have is coal. What is that? Is that ore? No, that's just rocks. Rocks, and that is... Yeah, there's ore. There's a little ore deposit in there. There's a bunch of coal, though. Yeah, a whole bunch of coal. More coal? Yeah. What's that? A little, little patch of ore. So we could try selling that. More coal over there, more stone. 
Nothing really up to the top of the map. Everything's pretty much packed down here. Is that ore down there too? Where was it? Yeah. So we can get some ore and try selling that. <clears throat> Upgrade by clicking and copying it, yeah. Uh, still a question, but is this, this or Dwarf Fortress is my personal experience. Um, I mean, at the moment, I would I would put Dwarf Fortress as, as one of my favorite games ever. Um, but this one's, this one's quickly climbing that ladder. Um, I suppose it, it, do you want to go like the size? I suppose scale is the question. Do you want to go massive scale, which is what this one is, or smaller scale? Store Fortress. Well, it's decreasing of most importance that you tend to your subject's needs. Uh, probably the Probably has to do with, um, with, yeah, they're going down pretty far. Probably has to do with food. So let's go pick up some food. And I heard a dad joke, but this is no time for a dad joke. People are starving. I'll get your dad joke just a second. Uh, what do we got? Down over there, we got, we have the fruit we can pick. We got fruit get growing over here. We've got, what is that? Clay. Uh, let's go get these veggies and these mushrooms over here, wherever they are. Wherever they went. I lost them. There's like two. Oh, there's only two? And two mushrooms? Nibbly. We got all the. Well, we got a little bit more of that. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, food production. It's very important that this gets done now. No, don't do that. Just get it done now. There might be a priority button in here. Hmm. Cannibal. Build a cannibal. Cannibals butcher corpses for meat and other resources. We're not done to that point yet. Let's not get carried away. Uh -uh. Uh, do you know, uh, did you know that Swedish people can't run marathons? Did you know this? Because it would require them to, to cross the finish line. Geography jokes. I find this game a little more approachable than Dwarf Fortress. I never get the hang of Dwarf Fortress environmental engineering. This one, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's... It's sort of just a, um, what your, uh, uh, what flavor you want. People are, oh, people are trapped again. Um, whether you want, like, yeah, um, I think smaller scale or big scale is the question. He's trapped. Who else is trapped? No, oh, there's a guy there, too. Like, we're gonna have to, like, copy and paste this thing. Get some more of these. We got nine that are working right now, which is all we can have. We have we could we could cram it in there and just and we could do another one. Um, and like, what if we can like flip it? Six. So left control, build another one, and left shift, build a copy of it. And we have the same thing. Can I rotate it? Yeah, rotate. I don't, I want to mirror it. Can I mirror it? No. Um. I mean, I guess it's okay. I kind of want it to be like a mirror. We could do like that. That's not. That's not terrible. We want the door on that side. There we go. More carpenters. There is no way that was your best joke. Are we done? Do we got? We have enough stuff here? No. Louis. Problem is, they're kind of building everything a little bit, a little bit of everything. That's a bit of an issue. 
Um, are we holding any um, furniture in here? We got, we got a box of it, which is fine. I'm sure someone's working in there. There's some people that are a little cranky, though. They have houses, though. What else do they want? Um, yeah, it's just always food. food. And we don't have religion yet. We don't have any graveyards. We should get some of those and crypts. And we'll get some knowledge here in a second, and then we can start getting um, some temple stuff. Let's go build a... We'll get a... Um, where was it? Oh, an embassy, huh? Trains emissaries are going to be sent on foreign missions. Was that in the game before? Build a grave. Uh, we'll put the grave, like... Mm, put it, like, right here. People okay with that being nearby? It is a mass grave. That seems a little bit less good. We'll just do a little one like that. At least three by three. Okay. Thirteen graves. Emissary is new. Okay, cool. I think this is gonna be so we've got like um fishery land over here and we got we got fruit land over here. It'll be kinda cool, yeah, I'd build along the like along the edge here. There's some really cool towns that folks have made on the um you find on the um, like on the Discord. Some really neat stuff. I'll hold off. We can always work on getting some trade set up because we do have some wood. Um, we can trade the wood away and make some things. We could also go grab that coal up there and get that as our trade resource. We need 19 furniture for over there. Um, they're, they're working on it. There's some of the people in town. Now, the question is, what we could do, it's not a good idea, but we could go and bring in some folks to... Um, some growing because I don't think we do we don't do farming very well, but some of these folks do. Like the humans. The Dondorians are very good at farming. And so we could bring in a few a few humans and have like a little human population that does all the farming, you know? There's one that wants to move in here. I think the uh I think the the Talapis, I believe, are are, are good uh farmers also. So there's one of them that wants to move in. Humans. Really want to have one of each though, so it's not that big a deal. No one wants to live here for some reason. I can't imagine why. Is there a Cormac in, in chat? Hey, Cormac has gone. What's new? Oh, a little starvation. We have four odd jobbers. Um, we need 23 more people in this town. We are almost officially out of food. Uh, These will be ready to pick and win. Late summer. It's spring now. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll grab whatever we can there as soon as we can. How's this farm looking? Workload is low. That means we can have less people working it. We safe at two people working there? We might be. And we'll leave it. We'll... Yeah, we need it. We need to get the trade going in. I'm not sure when this harvests. This year we'll get forty one of them. Forty one of them. I always end up building my my farms way too small. I need to go go all in on fishing. And we will eventually, as soon as these are done. That one's halfway done. Uh, a new level's been unlocked. We are... How many people? We got 30 people. So we're now a leader. And it unlocks the training grounds, archer range, and a gatehouse. Happiness has inched up as well. Get 10 constructor rooms. There's our big grave there. What a lovely site to have next to the, to next to the, um, the, the town hall there. The throne. Um, lots of folks are working it in there. 
which is good. We have just one, I think we just have one janitor. One janitor, please, don't auto deploy. So that we can have more people doing other jobs. Yeah, more carpenters. Yeah, yeah, this will this will work out pretty well too. They're getting the fence finally built. So just just you know just a few years of starvation it makes you makes you appreciate the years when you do have food. And you think, man, it's been a bad, been a bad year, but it wasn't as bad as that fifth year we had. One more furniture and it'll be done. And we're gonna go we're gonna go fishing crazy. And um we need a lot more fish than that. Even for the thirty people we have right now. Probably would have been a little wiser to go with a smaller pasture here. We have plenty of wood though. There's the last one I think I pulled in. There he goes. Okay. Appreciate the hunger, folks. Hunger. Chew on your boots for a few months and reboil them a hundred times for taste of the water. <laughs> Next year would be better. <clears throat> yeah, what's with all the whining, you know? starving. I can't have people die in here. It's getting into summer, so things will get picked in a second. Oh, maybe we'll feed us a bit. Um, I'm going to be like the um, the trade. What's it take to make that thing? <laughs> Who's that? Hey, Master, thanks. My obsession with fishing may sink your colony. Water way to go. Um... <sighs> Let's trade. Uh, we'll set up trading lands. It can be right here. Trade land. That was what, import? That was export. And let's import. Right there. And we'll get some folks coming in here and, and buying things. He's just lazing around because he's starving to death. Everyone percent done. Everyone's starving to death. Uh, Twenty-four people are starving. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna allow like there's one of each one that wants to come in. Sure, they might get mad, but um, we need some healthy blood around here. Some not starving blood. They'll move in. They um. Possible they'll be kind of cranky about things. Oh, another human wants to come in. They can come in. They're good at farming. And they can do some of the jobs. And they can maybe bring in some, some veggies, which they just did. To keep us fed here. And get this thing built up, which they uh, just did. Okay, insufficient workers. Yeah, we need those. There's five people come in. Fish! Fish like you've never fished before! Okay, that one's done. Uh, this one's getting built as well. And the bathroom's not there quite there yet. Yeah, they're just they're just dramatic. You're right. You're right about that. Just dramatic. Um, I won't bring in too many people. The uh, so the Talapi, territorial and bloodthirsty guardians of the forests. Um, they're like they're no strangers to cannibalism. Hu though there's the humans. Um. Decent farmers. I will bring another human in. What are the Don? Oh, Dondorians. They're the uh, they're the dwarves. And they are sturdy and stubborn. Don't care much for farming. Excel at mining. The Cretonians excel at farming. So we'll bring one more of them in. I'm not gonna go crazy with these guys because they're not gonna be very happy about it. Because um, I'm not building for them. Building for the for the lizards. Okay, we got a little bit of we got a little stuff come in. Looks like some of our fruit came in as well. Is that from this guy? Oh yeah, yeah. We got some fruit in here. Gives us forty nine. Good. 
What I might actually do is make like a, just a giant farm over here of fruit or something. Um, maybe, or maybe we just go in, maybe we just go all in on fishing. We've got two fisheries now. We'll see what they can do for us, what they bring in. Because we got 13 fishermen over there. We got six over here. That's 19 of our people. Yeah, the orcs are good at farming. Okay. That's done. We'll get that done. That'll get us some meat. Um, so import. We want to import food. Um, fruit's probably cheaper than anything else. We could just bring in some fruit just to make sure we've got something. Yeah. Just bring it, bring it until we can fill up our warehouse. This is only 55. I guess I could turn that up a little more. Oh, no, it is hold up to 500 there. There you go. Walk away the houses so it looks cool. But yeah, we can put decorations around the houses too. We'll get there eventually. Um, export. Not done yet. But yeah, we'll import some fruit. We have 51 in the warehouses and we can bring in up to 500 of these things. So yeah, we'll just pack, we'll pack it with fruit. Um, it's fine. And then this guy, what we'll sell, I think what we're going to sell is furniture, even though I know we've got a lot of it. All right, we don't have enough right now. We need it, but we're going to be, we're going to be having a lot of it. So I think, I think that's what we want to do. Sell the furniture because it's going to sell for a lot more than what the wood will. So we'll sell furniture. I mean, we'll sell all of it. We'll sell half of it. Is that a number or a percent? 65% of our warehouse stock will sell. That's fine. Because we got two of those things now and they're going to be cranking that stuff in. There's lots of... Well, there's actually not a lot of trees. But for now, we'll sell that, and then we'll change over to other things later on. Probably rocks or something. But we will chop a bit more trees here. Okay, bathrooms are done. Excellent. We'll need some plumbers in here to go take care of that. Which we'll get there eventually. Let's crank up the speed here. Okay, I don't know if anyone died in that whole, uh, that whole process. It's like no one died in all of that, in all those shenanigans. Nobody died. Excellent. I can keep an eye on my fish numbers. I think they're actually good, good graphs here, isn't there? And we can see what we bring in, how much we eat. And we, we can keep an eye on that. So we'll definitely need to be doing that. It's like we're gaining, we're gaining fruit. We're on the plus side with fruits, at least. Um, our rations have gone away. We'll try to keep an eye on those. It's all stashed in there. And I think we might turn that into a big granary and then we'll have a, a warehouse separate. Separate place for that. Oh yeah, the tree grower guy. Oh uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea around here because we don't have as many trees. Um, is that a research thing? Is that what you said? Yeah, it's, it's a work. And then... Woodcutter? Place on trees, sustainably, sustainably produce good. Oh, yeah, because this guy, he's like, that's right. Wood is like a, a never-ending resource in this game when you have one of these guys. I'll just set him over here at the edge of the map. Actually, it looks pretty fertile over here. Fertility is what? 33. It's not that good. 66. Actually, isn't that bad over there. Um, we'll put him, put him a little ways away. He can go down here. He can go live. He can do this. Any more in there? So then go chop trees. And then we'll have an endless supply of trees basically down there. Uh, force it, it might matter with... I think it matters with how fast the trees grow. I would imagine it does. 
pretty sure it does. We don't need nine people working this, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have just like two. Two people can work this farm. We have two animals at the moment. We've, we've brought two of them in. Five now. Okay. We grab grab them all up and toss them in there. We'll, we'll add more people in there in a minute. Um, we'll, I will auto employ it actually. That way I don't have to think about it. Uh, looks like the workshop or the the lab is done, so they they are working away at getting me some research. Excellent. We do have 50. Oh, people want to live here now. We got 50. We got 11 more that want to come in. I have 10 um, homeless people, though, so we're going to make sure we have some houses first. So let's do some of that before we go any, any more here. And I'm going to start up a new housing spot over here. Apartments. And we're going to do what we did before. But let's try... On the other side of the bathroom here. There. And I think what I want to do is something like, um, we'll leave like an opening there, and so we can put maybe like, I don't know, something inside there. So you can go in around, well, around that way, and then we'll have another building like inside here. Or we can put more houses in here, actually. You know, we could we could squeeze in more houses right there. I think it's cooler to have to have something else in there though. Hey, T Kitty, how's it going? So that'll be there. Um, and then we do want to get with research. I know we want to get um, stages are important. Uh, where is it? We need a, we need a fish production for sure. Fishery methods would cost us two fifty. Um. There's rations, prepared meals. Um, there's the bakery. Asylum. Um, maybe we'll just, just, we will stick with the fishery. Once we get 250, we'll, we'll stick with the fishery, because it's going to give us better, we'll yank more fish out of the water. It's up to 211, so it looks like it's going the right way. And we got, uh, 15 people want to join us. And we will allow them in a minute. This is going to give me, what was it, 6 each one, so there's 18, plus there's like 20 more there. Um, and, like, we could do this, and then squeeze in a bathroom in here. What else needs to go along with a, uh, a house? Eatery use pots and raw foods to create tasty meals. Subject will get a chance to pick what they want and it'll improve food preference. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do like a let's, let's try something. Oh yeah, well would be good there. I'm gonna try putting in experiment here. Houses all around and inside we're gonna put like a little food court thing. We'll have the well, we'll have that, we'll have small little areas, so it's like its own little thing. So we'll make a small little eatery here. Um, let's do like... Well, how big does that need to be? Does it need to be giants? It needs to be a little more than that. Cause it's just gonna be just gonna be for these this group of folks. I'd rather be that way. No, I don't. That. Okay, we'll put our doors in. There. You need to get some clay. Let's go ahead and yank that up. Or was it? Let's 
Uh, it's clay, something we need to... How do we get clay? How do we mine clay? I forget. Clay pits, there it is. Patch over there. A little storage. What do I need to be looking for with ice? I do. I need isolation. Does everything need isolation? Should I? Because I don't want. These are all hundred percent isolation. That's good, right? We went. Well, that one's not. Everything else is. That one's not for some reason. So we'll do a eatery there. Um, we need to get. Uh, we'll do like a small well. With each one as well. Well, huh? Um, maybe some decorations and things. Like a small well as they come in. Like that. And then I want... Hey, what's with the blinkies? Um, oh, lightning. Uh, I want... Put a small bathroom in there. Small bathroom in there. Next to the eatery. Sure. But small. Uh, whoops. I want to get rid of those walls. That. And then a basin. Like, just that. Probably enough. Door. Isolation 100%. Excellent. So eatery, bathroom, well, and then we'll throw in a, um, uh, the hearth. Wherever that was. And then I'll go right over here. Right there. And we got a little patch here for something else. Oh, the last, okay. Um. I don't know why it's, why it's different. So well, hearth, and then we'll figure out something else to go in there. Maybe just decorations. Um, might be what goes in there. Maybe a speaker. Or houses. We could squeeze some houses in right there. And that is its own its own little community there. It kind of packs in that spot. Probably a way to do it. I need to figure out if I can just copy all of this stuff and and build it. Hmm. 
Is there four there? Yeah, kind of Roman. A little bit Roman. Oh, I got on my... It got... And it put on all my, my roundabout. I didn't even see that. Oh, how dare I? Okay. So, we still have some unhoused folks. Copy area. Can I just go like... Happy. Aha! Ooh. There we go. Excellent. It'd be a lot of work to get there. And we make sure we get a lot of food. So we got 264 fish. Nothing really else. Uh, eggs are starting to come in, though. We got two eggs. Um, this can hold how many? This can hold... It's missing, it's missing some some of these guys. But they're they're growing. We, you know, they're breeding and all that. It's making a little bit of livestock. As the livestock comes in, it'll slowly fill up. Looks like insects. We're getting like one egg a day, but it's hopefully increasing in a second. Oh, meal is out there working it. Okay. There's a lot of. Am I out of wood? No. I'm gonna bring in. I know I got a lot of. Uh, I'm gonna bring in. There's 15 more want to come in. I'm going to go ahead and let those 15 in. We can give them... Oh, I forgot to give them access to furniture. They can have furniture. They can stash it in their houses now. There they go. They're grabbing it. We don't have... Oh, we should have some leather coming in. Uh, no, we don't. We don't have any... Because we don't have a hunter. Which I didn't think about having a, fun, a hunter out there. Because we do have some herds. A bunch of herds up there. And it's down there. Yeah, we should just get a hunter. Oryx over here. Do you give me leather? Cotton and meat. It's just meat. Okay, so those are the guys we want. We could build a, uh, like a pen over here. That might actually be easier. Um, and more sustainable. So just set up a... an orc pasture. Couldn't be anywhere near as big as this one. Daily. It's based on the fertility of the soil. You know, yeah, we'll use it. I was trying to avoid doing that because I could have a good fishing spot. That's fine. We'll do something like that. That puts us up to 2.7. That's better. Um, put our cows over there so we can get some leather brought in. Twenty-two unhoused folks. And this will I don't know how many I don't remember what this was. Um twenty-two? I think it's twenty-two each one. No one living there? I 
Here's a house upgrader. We need we need basements and second oh basements and second floors. We can learn that tech. Hmm, let me get the uh, the fish tech up done. And where is that housing tech? There's schooling, paper making. He's a carpentry, bowyers, makeshift weapons. We're gonna need a um. We're gonna need a, a physician before too long. Hmm. I don't know where that one's at. There's basements right there. We need civics, so we need lighting first, and then we can get basements next. People require denser housing to get to work and services quickly. Dig out, dig out basements to increase housing capacity. For 500. Yeah. Okay, so lighting is lighting's a cool one. I think it takes furniture to make lighting. Might be a decorative thing. Yeah. Oh, it takes it takes ah uh, it takes steel. That's the thing it takes that I don't have. That might be one steel. Might be something we could we could, we we import. We're still importing fruit, and that's where we got the eighty one from. But we got a lot of fish now, so I think I'm happy with with that. Let's change our import to maybe we do maybe we do put metal in there. We're not short on anything at the moment. Once those eggs kick in, we'll be in better shape. Um, yeah, let's just bring in some steel, some metal. Just get a little supply of it in here. And you can see on the world map, if you have those of you haven't seen the game, um, now that we have a trade thing coming in, we should see some traders on the map running around. I think, well, it may have changed now. Used to be you can see the traders on the map running around. I don't see any of them. Um, you know, um, since you guys like us, let's let's chat with him. Hey, um, you, buddy. You like me, sort of. You got three armies now, because you're really giant. If we want to go trade, there's a toll of 104 to trade. Toll is based on the distance between you and this faction. Toll is added to the sell price and subtracted from the buy price. So I can actually say, hey, I want to buy certain things from you. Um, what about diplomacy? What does that do for us? I can give you money. I can demand regions from you. I'm not sure what uh, what that does for us. They won't like it. Hmm. Oh, it's just, I guess it's a trade deal with them. Okay. Um, we can also gather support, gather support in a region so that it will be more inclined to be ruled by you in the future. If we have an envoy, we can do that. Interesting information that is unknown and send an emissary to learn more about, about them. Okay, what about these little guys over here that are next to me? You guys are pretty small. Uh, there's, there's a, there's a face, that's the face of a humanist, this is the face of a, of a drinker. Uh, he's a lot smaller. Maybe he'll be more inclined to, to do some, like, trade deals. Honestly, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Opinion goes down a little bit. Wait, by the faction perception of, perception of the value of its components. Deals that... I don't know what this does for us. Actually, be traded with if you board them or if they board another faction that you have a trade agreement with. So it just allows us to trade. What if, I, what if I just say, yeah, it will not be accepted. Hmm. Well, I'll give you what I'll, I'll sweeten the deal with a little bit, uh, a little furniture. What was it? I 
want to give you that much furniture. It will be accepted. All right. I don't know. What I'm I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going. I want to see it. Okay, so we can now trade with you. Okay. And we can buy. Um, I guess. I guess maybe. Maybe now we will. Now we will have trade wagons coming in. Also, in the world map, I think we can do other things out here too. Maybe if we had a, if we had a region, we could do more to it. Because our region is pretty tiny. Now trade partners. There's me and Kuhn. Now trade partners. Hooray! I'm sure that means great things. Leader Bob of Sil Sliven. Oh, yeah, I haven't changed my name. Game change. It's the name of my... Uh, uh, Sliven, not Sylvan. Oh, yeah, we can change our flag around. I forgot about that. My name is not Bob, though. They call me Nook. Faction name? They call us... Um, lizard Stone. Because we're lizards. Get it. Well, you know, sometimes it changes. <laughs> okay, looks like that is almost done. So clearing that out so we get our, our those fellas in. Um, I was gonna do a hunter, and it might be worth it, but I didn't. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get a little bit of it done. I think we're good on on food now, though. I think I, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to get in here. There's a preserving one I wanted to get. Um, spoilers, there it is. So much is wasted every year on rotten rust. People learn how to properly store goods and preserve foods for longer. Let's do that. And I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get this warehouse. I'm going to build another ware warehouse just like this. And we'll set. So that will be a, that's going to be a food warehouse. Granary, they call them. And we're going to have a, like a, um, a real warehouse built elsewhere, like Day Without Sun. Um, I think we'll just put it over here. Right here. Okay. Go into the warehouse right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get my road. That, and then we come around here. Speed up again. Um, I have a lot of money. Where do I stash that stuff? My treasury's full. How do I make a bigger treasury? Idea to build some build some, some walls. Closing there's mines for our coal mine we can get in a second. Okay. 
I thought we stashed our money in here. I don't know where it goes, though. Maybe we just get stashed in the trade house. I think it would be in here. I don't see it, though. Oh, I missed a couple. I missed machinery and swords. Okay, we can hold a thousand fish. We're gonna go to 1,200 fish. And we're gonna be bringing some meat in a minute, so we'll put that up there, and eggs will go up as well. Actually, it's gonna be, we'll make this all food in a minute. Once this one gets built, and then we'll switch that over. What do we need for this? We need a uh, wood and stone. Oh, we got no wood! Okay, so let's do a wood chop. Wood chop and a stone chop. What are we doing here? It doesn't really change much. So we have only nine animals. They grabbed the ones that they grabbed all of them. Well, there's two more down there. That's all we have, though. So I suppose as they it'll slowly populate. I really want to get some some tech stuff. Uh, not tech, but uh, religion stuff. So we have we have only the the graveyard. We can get tombs. We need grave. We need graveyard burial first. Um, Multi is a hundred percent. Can I make a ration maker? I can't, can I? Prepared meals comes from a canteen. That's the one I was looking for before. That's where I want to go. Let's go to canteen so we can make. And that maybe that might be what I stick in there. A small canteen. Each of these will have to have a worker or two. Um, and, and then they'll feed themselves. We'll have like a big canteen in the middle though. There's a long way over here. No one's working on it. Let's remove some water over here. All right, it'd be better. Let's just do this. Let's do a line, line. Okay, we got, what, 19 more want to come in. We still have three homeless, so we'll wait until that gets filled in before we let people in. We can always cop and paste more of those and get uh, a little bit bigger town. We're getting there. We're getting something. The embassy. Let's build an embassy. I'm interested, interested to see how this works. It takes fabric and paper, which we don't have. We can trade for it. Steel in yet. Let's 
Let's change that to... We'll get some paper in. We don't need a lot. We just get a little bit of paper. Paper and, and fabric. Fabric is something we can do, though, because we can bring in those uh, these fellas. We can either grow it, we can grow cotton, or we can pick it off of these guys. And, and you can use that. A lot of work to be done. Okay, come on in. Fish is still growing. We have 90, 92 people in town. Other than the the small starvation incident, we're doing okay. Uh, I will allow this up to a hundred. If uh, if any of these um, these argunish. Or the, especially the cantors. If any cantors want to join me, they are welcome to join me. We'll say we'll, uh, we'll allow 25 of those. These are the giants. We'll always allow giants in our town. I don't know what giants, what they're good at besides being giants. Cantors are mythical giants. Few of them that remain are primarily found in the north. They excel at battle. Difficult to obtain and please. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a big question. How is it optimized so we can handle this? Because I don't, I don't think I've ever, I've never seen it get sluggish at all. Um, you'd think when you start getting like thousands and thousands, I've never, I've never played up with more than like a thousand. So maybe it does when you get that that big. But I think that they had, either used to have or they still do, where you could pull up a map with a giant town. I may have downloaded it. I think it worked okay. Uh, we don't have a barber yet. High in service for your subjects where they can be groomed. And turned almost as pretty as your grace. Almost. Cost some tools and some cut stones. We're not doing that yet. This guy's still not built. He's got all the stuff. He's just getting constructed. And then we'll have a never-ending supply of trees, which we pretty much have never... It's pretty much never-ending supply anyway. So I was worried about how less... How lack of trees we have, but I guess it is still quite a bit. If we get to the point of having tons of people, though, I suppose that it uh, would be a problem. We have these gaps here. I might stick something along the side here also. We could actually put another row of houses in there. Probably a good idea to have a speaker in each of these. We need what? Oh, stone. We're out of stone. We have a mark, though, don't we? Busy with trees at the moment. Oh, that right right came in quick. We're at 98 already. And loyalty is at 89% still. What's uh, what's what's the deal with it? What's what's with the going down? Uh, immigrant, someone who's oh, you don't like you don't like um, immigrants coming in. You're happy with a more that the majority is us. Is uh, lizard folk or whatever they are. Access. Uh, if I get leather, I don't have any yet, but you can have a little bit of that. I'll work on cut stone here in a second. And we don't have any health care yet. We don't have any baths yet. We don't have any meals yet. Or stages. Or religions. And we can adjust the retirement age. Uh, 
educate or indoctrinate. Uh, execution is liked by your citizens. Right. Here's the law. I don't know. Yeah, we'll lean on the execution rather than exile. Sure. I don't have anything anything for for that. I don't think. All right, well, let's go uh, see about getting a stone cutter. I can figure out where this guy's at. What is that one? Oh, carpentry basics. There's a refined carpenter. We can upgrade a carpenter. Oh, you know what? Um... Yeah, forget the, forget the stone. We're going to go and work on... A, we're going to get a physician. 500. We'll get it in a second. We'll get a physician so we can keep our people healthy. Okay, no homeless. We need a lot more people in town. Uh, okay, we'll go up to... We'll work our way up to 200. No abilities in town. Uh, is this thing done yet? I right, still need the paper and the yeah. yeah. What we're not making, which we can make it on our own. Uh, we'd like to. Get, I'd like to get some trade coming in here. No resources to sell. Oh yeah, all the furniture's getting used. No, we ran out of wood for a while, and that probably what slowed us down there. Now to get some coal dug out. I guess it's not too far. There's ore there. Temperature's rising to an extreme level today. We should have ways to cool down. That's what the wells are for. We like it hot. Okay, no animals, but here they come. I think. We can hold nine in there. I'm pretty sure they'll just go over there and just grab them. Fill it in. Pretty sure. Could be wrong though. Um, here, let me set up a hunter. So we might actually, because the, the 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 resource they use to fill those is like the hunting thing symbol. I'm gonna set this guy up. Yeah, because you see, the thing we're using is that livestock. I think the hunter's one that makes that stuff, that produces that. Someone finally came in. I'm not building, uh, you can make all this stuff out of stone. I'm making all out of wood houses, because that's what we have around here. But you can't do stone if we had more of that, which we do have actually quite a bit. So we probably could have got away with, with all stone buildings. Um, the, uh, when we get that, we'll get the, we'll get that tech first, and then we'll go look at getting into the basements and things, and the stone cutting. Okay, so they, yeah, I think they're the ones grabbing, grabbing that, and they're going to be filling that in now. 
I believe. <laughs> yeah, because that's production there. Sixteen-year-old stout, uh, Amevian citizen, proudly serving you as a hunter. Health is good. He's a hundred something pounds. Described as being a hopeless romantic. He's in Radio City. Originates from a village in the region of Winchi. Resides alone in a humble apartment in the southwest part of the city. Not enlisted in our armed forces. Workday is over. He's employed in leisure time. That your majesty is so generously offering. Yeah, that's right. He walked over and just grabbed a sheep. Now he's cutting them up. He's a bit bored at times. Grab another one. Fishermen are reporting big catches today. Make sure we store all the fish. Okay, good news. Bleeding badly. What'd you do? Buddy, I was just following you. Now you're bleeding out. Don't do that. Okay, well. When we get our 500, we'll, we'll, we'll get to work on that. Two people for there. We'll auto employ that then. Oh, homeless is coming in. Okay, we got more of those to make. Okay, so let's let's do the copy thing. We'll copy the one that's done. Let's set it up over here. thinking maybe maybe this should be the warehouse down here that should be a granary i don't know i don't know because people are nearby here but um i think maybe more food will be going into this one this one is done isn't it okay so we're gonna do this, this will be everything um this warehouse here is oh it copied it copied everything didn't it Okay, so my auto employee. I'm gonna I'm gonna change this. No food on this one. And um put everything else in here. I I'm starting to think maybe we just leave it as it is and we just double it and sort of sure there'd be some food there. I'll stick with what I was doing now. So I want some more of that. Some of this stuff doesn't really matter too much. Um Mostly, we want to make sure there's plenty of room for wood in here. Some clay, of course. Okay, and then on this one, which we are out of wood again. This one is going to be more food. Less of this stuff. leave a couple of them in just because they're they'll be nearby uh hey we're sheriff all right we get garbos we get dungeons scaffolds stocks there we go that's what we need we need some scaffolds that could be what goes in the middle here where are those at Execution. Where's it gonna go? 
Where do we do our executing? In the center of the roundabout? I think so. Like right, right there. Some gallows. Ooh, it's big. We'll put a... We'll put a There. Some chopping blocks. Hmm. Well, we'll set up chopping blocks over there. The gallows can be on this side. Okay, and we'll have some decorations. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> it's like food is trending in the negative direction. So, uh, let's prepare for that. Hopefully this will kick in. It looks like it is. We got, we do have a couple cows in there. Okay, good. So that's, that's looking the right way. Um, oh, well, it's actually in the plus side now. Keeping on it for the year. Probably some, um, yeah, I think, I think we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you're gonna have a public execution, it might as well be festive. Okay, this is my woodcutter making all kinds of noise, but making us some wood as well. And since we got storage space and we got people in town, let's do uh, let's do like a big chop, and we'll do a big stone bring in. Down there, I'll haul that stuff up there, get it tossed into our new warehouse. Which can hold 3,000. Oh, are you full? You are full. 3,000 wood. It can hold 2,000 stone. Yeah. Might as well stock those full. Or fullish. We have 12 days of food now, so it is going a little bit down. Um, it's just about even. I say we have some homeless people, though. There are some vacancies, though. I just haven't made it over here for some reason. Zoom out in seconds. So there's there's my my town. Whoop. There, we can go all the way in. We'll start from this all the way zoomed in. There's my my throne room all the way in, and we'll go out and out and out. There it is. So I'm just in that little corner is where I'm at. Go ahead and prepare for this and get a little more fish going. Uh, it's like a good fishing spot over here, so we'll we'll take that. And still want to go. Um, I think we'll keep it all on this side. Maybe I should put in. Where should I put my storage and stuff? 
I guess... Hmm. Can I have a gap? Is that okay? It is okay. Okay. So, it's something like... We'll go like that, and then we'll build it. Oh, as big as it gets, isn't it? We'll do our, our storage. Like over here. Not connected, huh? Hmm. Huh. Well, uh, we can go over here. Like that, and put our storage down here. Yeah, I heard that dad joke. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. Um, alright, so... This one, this one takes a little bit of, um... Well, it takes a little bit. I'll leave it at that. So what time is like a train? The answer is... 158. Because it's 2 to 2. 2 to 2. 2 to 2. There you go. <laughs> huh? <sighs> that one, I, I didn't, I, I, when I read that one, I, I didn't get it. Took me a little bit. Can you span more than one map? Uh, well, yeah, we got a world map here, so we can come out here. I'm here in Sliven, and we could eventually conquer other towns. We could take all these other towns out. Uh, my capital has, um, actually, I don't know how it works now with, because we don't have regions anymore. There's not towns. It used to be we had a town that had, like, thousands of people, whatever like that. It doesn't have that anymore, so I'm not actually sure how that works with how many people are in our town and all that. Um... I don't know. How we raise armies and things? That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know. So it kind of sounds like like choo choo. Two to two. It's, yeah, it's it's a bad one. I didn't say it was a good dad joke. I'm just saying it was a joke. Days of food and tons of wood. And no furniture. It's like the lab's back up and running. We're waiting for the, for the furniture for, the, for there. Which are trying to sell the, that stuff. Uh, we have lost a little bit of money. I think it maybe just stashes in here and it just hangs out over this way. Um, and I'm just going to sell wood. Coon is the only buyer we have. Yeah, sure. I'm going to sell that stuff. I wonder if it would be a good idea, actually. Since that tr works that way, there's not trade anymore like it used to be. Maybe we should talk to these guys and get a trade deal going. He likes us. He says we can trade with him. So can we, like, work out a work out a trade deal? Buddy? Trade? He says this is a terrible idea. 7,000... No. Value. The value for them is negative 26,000. So I'd have to give them... A whole bunch of stuff to make it worth what they want. Which I don't have enough of whatever they want. Uh, so we can't trade with them. However, uh, we might be able to trade with their na these guys' neighbors. Who's in Stria over here. And they kind of like us. They don't really care about us. We can trade with these guys, though. In Stria, who are you? Impacted greatly by flattery and offense. Oh, you're huge. Oh, yeah, you guys are massive. 
So I probably wouldn't be a very good deal to trade with you. Hmm. Something just change. Yeah, they think that's a terrible idea. All right. Well, there's another little guy here. Rovexti, hey, you and me are both tiny. You want to trade? I mean, minus 3.5. He will... It will be accepted. He won't like me any. We'll do it. He likes me a little bit less. But we got trade a trade deal with him now. Can I trade with the freelance? No. If we were to do that... Um, is my emissary done yet? Probably not. We need paper and all that. Yeah, so we need paper and... Oh, we actually got paper in. So let's change that over to the cut stone. I think that's what it wanted. No, it wanted fabric. Bring some fabric. Because we have the paper now. We just got to get the fabric in. And, and cut stone. We got ourselves an emissary. And look, we got uh, we got uh, Nakai over here waiting for some heads to roll. There's a nice... We got a nice butcher. Uh, not butcher. <laughs> we got a nice... Um, I thought that was... Is that a scaffold as well? No, no, that's a... That's a scaffold. That's a chopping block. And some decorations over here. With... Oh, look, we got heads. Heads on pedestals. Yeah, now we're making it clear what kind of town we are. In case there's any confusion. need to make roads to all these things. You can see their houses are getting all packed out because they're starting, they are allowed to grab furniture and things. The ones, if we see any that don't have anything in them, I don't know why not, no one lives there, but uh, they're probably not a lizardman because we're not allowing them to have anything. We probably should. That's the price you pay for not being a lizardman. You don't get a chair. They get a doormat. Looking pretty classy around here. Uh, once we get some leather, they'll start getting that as well. Let's look at a bunch of clay came in. Do we have leather yet? Leather yet? No, nope, not yet. How much of cotton came in? Where did that come from? Must have harvested it somewhere. Oh, my hunter's probably bringing it in. Suburbs out here. We got a nice rack of bones in there in their house. How does that one get off? Oh, I see my. Twenty-five fisheries. As a result, this combined experience is boosting performance by eight percent. Great. We got like a little bit of a. Um, I think some of our our tech is like is is degrading. Why well, we can't keep any of it in, around?
it's road building time here on the stream. It may be ridiculous now. It could have been all been solved pretty easily because I could have had these roads in here. I think if I copy paste, I would copy the roads as well. But oh well. I have a bit of stone now. I can put in like some stone spots inside here instead of just being all plain. You have 200 yet? We got 176 of the lizards. Nine days of food. That's gone up one. That extra fishery might be keeping us keeping us uh, up. Did I ever get any? Oh, I do a fabric. Cool. Oh, whoops. Okay, is it done? Oh, look at that. Oh, I missed a spot. I probably missed a few. Um, I don't think so. I think we got them all. Um, I think I probably should go and do like that. I think we can build on roads. Okay. Okay, there's that. Let's see if we can let's do let's do a little test. Can we build on roads? Uh, let's say we want to put in I don't know, a well. Uh, yeah, we can. Okay, good. So we can extra spot here to put something else. We can maybe put another building in right there. I'm not entirely sure what. Like a small shrine or something I think would be best over there once we get that tech. Which it's going, I think... What's the... I know it degrades, and i got to figure out how to make that not happen. It might be, we might need to go to the university or something. We could put more effort, in the, more effort into the fishery thing, which might be a good idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then look and see where... There's the schooling. Uh, children learn much better, much greater rate. There's paper making. Uh, library. That's okay. So we need to get the library. So we got to get improved laboratory. It's expensive. And get, oh, library's 8,000. It's got to be a cheaper one than that. So what happens is they're getting the knowledge and then it's sort of it's degrading away. Change this guy over to cut stone. Like Habsburg Habsburg housing? Clay guys working. Yep. Um, let's go down here. This is the original housing. Is down this way. Okay. What was the tech for that one? The prepared meals needs nine hundred. We'll have to get that one going. For some prepared meals. Nine days, of, nine days of food. It's going down. Uh, well, it's about standard. Uh, but it's only fish. <laughs> we got a little bit of meat coming in. Um, I think that once this kicks in, I keep saying this, 
I think we'll start getting... Because we only have 10 eggs, we have 49 of them, so that'll, that'll get us more eggs. I'm just not making us, uh, it's not making us any eggs right now. You're bringing a little bit of leather in, a little bit of, of uh, livestock. And uh, people here... Access has gone down a bit. Because maybe maybe a variety of food. Um, housing. Oh, I do have people that don't have houses. They're getting the food that they want. How long the food in your stockpiles, kitchens, and tea stalls will last? We don't have any clothing for them. There's, was that was that the uh, was that the bad year? No, nobody nobody died. Let's say there was some wrongful death there though. No, these are days. No. Not over here. Crime's going up a little bit. Put a curfew in effect. We had a we had a vandalism. What? In my town? I don't remember how to believe we need more people, more houses. I if I throw in like a like a a big commune kind of thing, they won't like that. Like a big old longhouse. Would serve the purpose, though. Just for some quick housing. Oops. Uh, don't, no, 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 don't do this. Doesn't quite fit. Actually, it, it does actually say it's okay. Hmm. I like that. Yeah, so at least we have housing for everyone. It doesn't seem to be... Oh, it's all degraded. Where's my... Oh, I know I have one of these guys, don't I? Whoops! Yeah, that's kind of falling apart. We still need those. We've got to march to get some of them smooth, the cut stone in there. I got some cash coming in. We're selling all this furniture. Oh, maybe we should lower it. Oh, it's on. Oh, that's wood. Right, that's fine. Uh, I'll lower that a little bit though. I don't want to sell wood. Looks like we got a bunch of clay hanging around now. So these hold four or something each. Okay, 10 days of food. 
Still holding about steady. This fish fisherman's working good. I could probably expand this guy and bump him a little bit further down, down the way. Um, might be a good idea to get some more fruit. Can I, um, can I expand you? Let's wait until it harvests, which is, I think, right about now. So when they harvest that, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that bigger, and we might just do, yeah, maybe we'll just do another one. Let's just do another field, and set one up like over here somewhere, or, or maybe right in here, just like a giant field of of fruit. That seemed like a pretty good spot over there. Ooh, extra fertile over here though. Hmm. This is all water. That's a pretty good spot, isn't it? I'll keep it over here. I forgot we're supposed to be putting in uh, waterways in between our between our on our roads, just because it's cool. it'd be extra cool. Okay. I'm gonna put trees in. I didn't put trees in the other one, did I? Sort of fits. Look at this. Um, it's making fruit. Harvard, harvesting 80. Harvesting 80. I didn't put trees in that one. Maybe it'll help. This is a fruit farm. This is a fruit orchard. Maybe that's maybe. Oh, because this is an orchard. This is just a red old farm. Is there different ones? Did I do the different thing? I did. I did a fruit farm versus a fruit orchard. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Who likes to grow those? That'd be a bad idea to bring a couple more folks in because a couple more farmers in. Because like the humans and the orcs really like to do that. And we've got a few folks that want to come in. Two more, sure. We'll bring the two in, and we'll bring the one of these guys in. And assuming they'll work the farm. Let's see, we got a death. Uh, so we got mauled. Oh, got mauled by a by a cow. Yeah, hunter's dead. Well, good. We got a spot. We we finally have a someone that can go in here. There he is. Right there. Keeps just like Dwarf Fortress. Time flies whenever I play this. <clears throat> Crime is a little bit on the rise. Um, we should do something about that. Uh, we need guard posts, I think, around. Oh, that cost me armor. We need to get a guard post at some point, and we post them around.
training ground here. a little bit of army just in case we get attacked. It wouldn't be pleasant. I'm going to trade for armor, but I want to get that cut stone done first. However, it's not coming in. Um, oh, it's done. Look at that. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, good idea. Armor. We'll grab some of that so that we can... I'll do the right one. Yeah, export wood, pick up some armor, get some guard posts placed around there. But we have it. We have an embassy now. Three people are working here. Okay, let's see what you can do. So let's let's go to these guys over here. We kind of like these guys. Well, we don't care for these guys. So can I click on that? Use an emissary to bring the support to ten percent. How do we do that? Gather support. I'll, I think I have three of them. So we'll we'll put two of them over there, and we'll put one in with the purple folks. See what happens with that. My research is negative 27. Are we not building this thing up any? Degradation. No, it's terrible. How do we fix this place? Only 4%. This is trashed. Isn't that what janitor's supposed to do? Missing some furniture. Maybe that's a problem. We're giving my people furniture when we make it, so maybe they're taking too much of it. What do we have two of? Sanitation. Is that a good thing? Two people are infected. The bleeding fever, the plague, and the white shimmer are here. Well, I'd rather not have those. What is that support up to? Low support increases the chances of rebellion. When the region is controlled, support will increase with time. It is inching up. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure what to do about this, except for like to delete it and start over again. I think the janitors are supposed to fix this, and this is something else I, for I forgot to do. Builders perform jobs the way job drivers do, and they are. This is just for builders. Golden. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I didn't forget we're supposed to be putting a, a, a channel in here. I never got my channel done. My my, my channel of, of, of water through the city. It was going to be so cool. Canal, that's what you call it. I never got it. Oops. Yeah, might be overworked. Definitely.
We'll, we'll get there. This is going to cause a lot of problems. <laughs> We're going to have to have like bridges over the whole time, all over the place. It's going to cause a lot of traffic problems. <laughs> It'd be so cool if we got it to go in, in here. Like, um, let's do a little experiment. Let's let's crank up some more janitors. We got all 10 janitors are employed. They're missing resources, though. I think maybe because they're missing the, the furniture, they can't fix. Hopefully they'll get there and, and work on that. Um, what if we were to do something like canal and real time consuming, but we could do something like, oh, we do two and then two spaces and then two. Here we go. Exactly what I was going for. <laughs> Massive fan of Songs of Six. Your player may have seen a couple of cities on the streams artwork. Uh, I, oh, oh, yeah. Some of the cities are crazy cool. Uh, on on uh, I have looked at them before, and the neat stuff. Crazy how good how how detailed some of the cities get. Almost did it again. Okay. I do that for the whole city. The road of sacred puddles. Yes. Fourteen thousand people. That's a lot of people. Loyalty's good. Everyone seems to be happy. Happy-ish. Uh, how's the, uh, how's the, uh, this thing going? Mm, we're getting there. Oh, we know, we knew a few things. We know some religion of them. We know what, what they have. Oh. Look at that. Um... We know what they have now. What do we need? We need to get to 25 to get that. I'm going to take this guy out of here. I'm going to put him in here. Let's focus everyone on, on these guys first. And we'll see what happens. Maybe I should make some more of these. Well, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Oh, I just thought of this. We could go and copy an area. We copy, and we just paste. Uh, is it gonna work? It's not gonna work. Uh, it would work like maybe on its own. Maybe maybe if we were to go like like would it work if I do that? We'll do the channels in there. No. All right. Bummer. <laughs> okay. I'm going to copy more, though. This whole thing. I go right there.
really scales. It scales so nicely. Can I get something off here? Doesn't, that's off, isn't it? What's off about that? Oh, because I, because I think I'm, I got one more, I got one more space too much over there. How to do that? That's a decent amount of them. That's plenty. Can be a little bit off. Sorry. janitors um much more furniture might just be furniture is the problem tree chopping time trees chopped um i'm gonna go ahead and make another one of these we'll set him oh, he can be over here somewhere Uh, no, links, unless you're, uh, sub, links don't work. Sorry. I keep the spam out. Hmm, looks like food's under control. I think, um, yeah, looks like food's starting to happen. There's 89 fish per day. We're making still no eggs. We actually are producing some though. Yeah. Just not not enough. We made five so far this year. We made nine last year. Mm. We got to, we made we've grown one extra animal in there. Um I wonder I'm trying to bring the armor in. Did we bring in yet? No. Let me switch over real quick to try to see if we can bring in um, livestock. That might work. We're going to have to go and take some things away. So we have access to furniture. I'm going to lower the furniture. So they won't use so much furniture so they can we can have it elsewhere. Exporting. Um export a little bit of clay. I think we have pretty much. Uh that is our only clay. Maybe we shouldn't be throwing that away because we need it for pottery. Okay. Back to trees. Hey, I got an army. I got 21 soldiers, five recruits. Look at that. People can fight. What's our raid chance? Raid chance was what? 
8%. It's going up. What are we doing here? So we, we, know, we know that one. We know that they've got a garrison of 500. Maybe 5. I'm not sure which, what those numbers mean. How many people are living here? This is support towards your majesty. No support increases. I, I'm curious, like, what, what is that? What's that going to do for us? He has an army of 500 soldiers. He has the one region. He likes us. Jolly and fun, but but state matters suffers as a result. He's lazy. We go to war with him. I've become broke. Might you borrow the um, the puddles along the road as well as you're in your next playthrough? Just curious. You don't you don't have to just on my behalf, but I would understand if you, if you wanted to. Oh, the lives have been fixed! Hooray! Good. You guys working any working at all? Any more work. More work. Um, I wonder if we could I could maybe rearrange this and have like a little bit less. Um, because we have all this storage here. We don't need all this storage in here. It's getting late. I need to call it a day. There's some black houses there. We've got 200, what we got? We got 215 in town. And it took it slow. I, I, I wasn't trying to crank it out at all. We were just focusing on one one race. All about fish and water. And our happiness is at 80% at the moment. We should be able to retire. Uh, we want better access to arenas, it says. We'd like to be or allowed more clothes. Access to arenas are also a bit bored at times. I'm not sure where I get arenas from. In here. Oh, yeah, it's an arena right there. Prisoners fight for glory and redemption at their subjects' amusement. That sounds like a nice place. Uh, a stage is always nice to make people happy, also. Rest home. We probably need to get some of those. That probably would be a good idea. Maybe we, we tuck a rest home. I think we'll just do one rest home. Stash it over here. This is for the old folks. Tables and dance floors. I'll tuck these in the corners. Dance floors, I think. Um, are those those take no, they're just furniture. Oh, that takes pottery. We don't need pottery. Carpets are what takes um, fabric, but I've got fabric. Okay. How cozy is it? It's about 14% cozy. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if that's what we're going to be able to do. Um, we can come over here and talk to him and say, hey, how about you just give me your kingdom? Like, let's say if we... I can't demand anything from him. He won't like that. I wonder if I can't demand a region because he only has one. 
but like if we were to come over here to these guys, and we can demand, if we can demand regions, from, we can demand. Okay, so because he's only got one. Okay. Well, all we know is a bunch of big guys. And they're not gonna give him their their region. We can try. What are we gonna do with it? We got people over here. What are we gonna do with them? What do we do with this guy? He has no enemies. Military aid and, and yeah. Well, I do know some things about you now. Let's try it over here. Oh yeah, well yeah, we'll try that. We'll try full influence. See what happens. We're almost there. <laughs> I guess I can put people in the in the, the um, neutral land too. Check that in a second. Needs a bit more cloth, which we have. What's that? Oh, opiates. Good thing to have around. So we have this army. We have working on the army. We don't have anything to equip our army with. I haven't bought anything. I got no money because my my wood, I guess, isn't selling. There are no resources to sell. It says. Oh, because my um. Oh yeah. Let me bump that up a bit. People will haul some wood over there, and I'm gonna do a big big chop. Another big chop. Okay, 12 days of food. Still going up. Mm, them and purple people are, uh, purple people are trade partners. They've agreed to a truce. Oh, they declared war on each other. I don't know if anything has changed the map. It all looks the same, but I don't remember exactly where everything was. I think everything over here is the same. Yeah. One person made this game. Crazy, isn't it? Hey, tech's finally going back up. Good. Money's going up. Citizens are going up. I don't remember, remember what I was what I was gonna get now. Um, I know I need to get library, but that's gonna be a little ways off. I need, I think stage is probably the important one. We can throw those around. We may, we may split those up, and set them in in the um, in the courtyards, because those help keep people happy. One disease going. We might need a, uh, another toilet. Might be our problem. We have toilets all over the place, but maybe they're not. Well, I don't know. Every place has toilets except for over here. They all have them. So I think I think that should be okay. Where's this? Where's this sicko? I mean, it's only one person. As long as it stays at one, we'll be fine. There's no prisoners anymore. Everyone's housed. No nobility. Doctor's what I was gonna get. You're right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, full support. All right. Looks like a hundred percent. Can I have your stuff now? No. Can I uh what if I were to demand like you know how many weapons do you? I want some armor. Give me like a, a hundred of those and a hundred of those. You will really hate that. I 
And give me a hundred swords also. Okay. How about that? Will not be accepted. Hmm. Well, alright. Um, let's go back and put it on these guys. Let's see if we can steal one of their spots. Is it just the one? Oh, it is just the one region. We just can't do it to a capital. Um, um, I think I'd rather have... This might be easier to get. Let's try getting this one. Let's see if we can do that. It's not like... Super close to mine, but it's it's smaller, so maybe we can take it faster. Doctor was what was that one at? There. How much for that? Five hundred. Yeah, it used to be uh, the housing. We had to, we had to draw them out, just like every other building. We had to draw them all out, and place the beds and stuff. I do like this system. This system a lot better. Um, I really I really like this system. Where it's kind of empty, and then as you give them things, they will they will sort of start filling it up, rather than having to place the beds in the in the uh, what was it in the uh, cu um, cupboards or whatever carpets. I like this a lot better. Um, I will take, I'll take you guys, and you, I'll take a few more of you. Like, these guys aren't real happy to be here. Well, the humans are, though. Humans like, like being here, and the humans and the, and the elves. I'll take that back. What's wrong with you? Why are you so mad? Yeah. Well, they, they were, they were happy. Well, the pigs say that was uh, when it was left in the sun too long. He said, I'm baking out here. A good joke. They're all good jokes. What do you mean? Make it a good joke. Any joke that involves pigs is a golden joke. Terrain is ocean and open lands. Um, like, let's say I wanted to, like... I guess I could say any region. Uh, what's the name of that one? I just can't say it because yeah, because of the capital. I can't take the capital. This is Rudstad. Uh, I want Rudstad. What do you say to that? He says that's a bad idea. Uh, it's worth fifty-six thousand. I'm not sure we'll be able to do it. I might have to just go and fight him. Take it. Is this is a pig joke that Chris Pratt told? I don't know that one. These guys like us a lot. It's a little degrading now. Um, I have a garrison of like 500 folks. I could probably take them. Once we get some armor. We don't have any armor. We don't have any weapons. Looks like I get carried away. There's the old people's home, though. We have nobody's retired, and I can adjust that to where it'll I allow them to um, retire. And I forget how to do that somewhere in here. Not there. Um, it's services? No, no, no. Um, we got meals now. Um, there's religion. Retirement age. 
Is that one percent? We'll put it at four percent now. I'm not. I don't remember. Worked half of its life expectancy. They were going to retire. Decree of zero percent will have your subjects work their whole lives. One hundred percent will have retire once half their lifespan has been reached. So at four percent, they're they're at at ninety six percent of their lifespan. Then they retire. Okay. Um. We'll put it at eight. We should. That'll that'll make them happy. Yeah, that's trending up. They'll make that'll make them. Yeah, make them super happy. Multi ninety two percent. Happiness eighty one. Okay, the only thing we don't have access to is clothing, uh, which I guess I can buy the cloth, the fabric. I can make the fabric. I think I can do that right now. That might be a service I can already do. No, I can't. Well, maybe I can. I'm actually not sure where that where that one's at. We should be in here. Carpenter, jeweler, mason. Oh, there's a scroll bar. There it is. Scroll bar. Um, let's go over here where the other work sort of is. Maybe it could work with a little better, but it's great. Exactly, I forgot about those. There we go. Okay. That's gonna make us clothes. That should make us clothing. I think. Oh, it probably takes the cotton. Probably makes probably makes fabric. It might do both. I'm not sure what it does. We have trees over here. Is that happening? You doing your job, buddy? You produce twenty-five. Well, that's something. Not a lot, but it's something. Oh, I, I just cranked in some more people. That went. Oh, you know what? I was we trading for that? Yeah, that made that a big difference. So we're producing like a couple eggs a day now. Yeah. Okay, now maybe we'll get an extra an extra food source. We have we have a thousand fish now though. Taylor makes clothes from linen. Weaver makes linen from raw cotton. Where do we get the weaver from? Refining? Oh, uh, yep. Artillery. I want some of that. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. There's a weaver. I do have I do have a weaver. Why say wait? I don't have a weaver. I'm lost with a crude. Did I, did I do I have it? 
There we go. Now I do. Not very good efficiency with that, is it? Uh, let me go a little bigger. It's not greatest, but... Okay. Day without sun. Supposed to be like 105 degrees here tomorrow. I could I could go for a day without sun. We had a death. A uh, someone was mauled by a by another cow. It's in a dangerous zone. It will not be fetched. The cow is just gonna eat him. We have four sick people now. Physician is important. But once these get done, we'll get some clothes in here. People will like that. Just need stone. Oh, I'm out of stone. Bring that in. And we can probably bring a little more wood in. Because we're selling it all. Okay, what time is it? Oh, it is my bedtime. All right. Yeah, probably especially my people because they like warmth. They probably really want clothes. Halfway there. Um, let's see if it changes anything. It's still 57,000. It will not be accepted. I get that. And I can give you some wood. I don't have anything worth giving. I'll give you a whole bunch of fish. Yeah. Huh. Okay, maybe we could just do, do some killing. But there's no way we're going to be taking out these guys. These guys we probably could, we could handle. What size of army? We don't know how big your army, your garrison is, but their garrison we know. We can see what they've got. And we can't actually talk to these guys. We can just see what they've got. Try to get them to take our stuff. The weaver's the weaver is weaving. He's taking the cotton and making some clothing or fabric. The cotton we're getting in is just coming from the hunter, from these fellows. We could probably have a farm. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to whip up a uh, a farm of the onks or whatever they're called. We have about 20, 240 people. Let's hit 250 and call it a day. 243. Everyone's happy to be here. 246. 247. I'm bringing some bugs. 
Got some dwarves. 283, there we go. Okay. And you know, um, I suppose what we could do is if, if we're content with everything being where it is, we could just copy the whole thing and paste. <laughs> we wouldn't be able really to do the farms. But like all that, everything else, just build it. We could, we could go nutso with like exponentially increasing the size of everything. We definitely need to get coal though. Uh, if we can get coal, we'll have a little bit of ore. Make some iron. Um, I know pottery's pretty important. We haven't got anywhere of that yet. With the clay. It makes some, some pottery things. But. Need to call it a day. I'm tired. So thanks for hanging out. This is Songs of Six. This is update 64. Version 64. Um, if you don't have the game, you can play the previous version free. That's what the demo is on the Steam page. All made by one one guy. And really impressive how, how this is coming along. How it's developing. Real impressive. Alright. Let's uh, let's wrap it up. Like Mr. Close Me, I think, is done as we speak. Yeah, there we go. So he, oh, he takes... I can change that, though, can't I? I change the recipe so he can take fabric. Uh, oh, I need fine clothing to, to do that. That's what you're saying. So I can take the leather to make those, which I don't have a lot of leather. So we need the fine tailoring in order to turn the, the cloth into the clothing. But we'll get there soon enough. Anyway, we'll call it a day. I may come back to this, but um, if I don't, this, this, well, this is a good stopping point. Uh, if we come back again, we, uh, we may have to go do some war and take Cocoon. Because I believe that town belongs to me. It doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it should. Let's do a save here. Uh, yeah, Lizard Stone. Alright, thanks for hanging out. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, let's get an ad starting at, uh, right about now. So uh, I'm going to quickly say thanks for watching and send you off to someone else. Um, I should be here tomorrow and we'll play something else. Or maybe more of this. I'm not sure which. Um, but thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all next time as we go for... Um, We'll go to an FG raid. I think I raided raid FG just the other day. We'll raid FG again. That's fine. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.